Certified Hustler here, and I think it's time for a hot shot. What do you guys think? You guys want to come with me? Well, you have no choice. Let's go! What's up guys and gals, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the SPACESHIP! <laughs> Cruising through the galaxy at zero miles an hour. Guys, we're gonna go on a hot shot, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Spaceship, rather empty, we need to put some stuff in it. Before we do that, we must, oh man, hair is getting in the way. We must bring the hair comments back, we have to bring the, you know I got a comment the other day that said, dude, I'm so disappointed in this video when very few hair comments, we're bringing the hair back. Hey, in fact, let me take some time to read some comments. Some of them are gonna be kind of funny, some are gonna be whatever. So, uh, let's see here. Um, Donna Hunt, I love your business model. Selling smart, making money, enjoying life real smooth. Hey, thank you, Donna, that was awesome. Val R, first time watcher, Rally Roots mentioned you. That's right, I hung out with Rally Roots last weekend. That was cool. Amy B, is Emerson single? He's a cutie. What, what? Kentucky resellers, I love the hotshot videos. Keep the good content rolling. Hey, thank you, KR. Buffalo shark reseller, you're too yoked. You're looking jacked, bro. Thanks a lot. That doesn't have anything to do with my bonafide channel, but it has everything to do with my workout channel. And I just threw the phone over there in a mad creatine rage. So anyways, before we get on this hotshot, we gotta get the protein shake down. We gotta make a call on the yellow banana to get my gains. But yeah, the protein shake is going down. Someone was asking, what is in my protein shake? All right, in this one today, two scoops of whey protein, ZMA, look it up, glutamine, BCAAs, all in here right now. So whether you like it or not, this is going down. Mm. So let's get on the road. Let's get this hot shot done. And while I have your attention really quickly, guys, the bag guide is done. That's right, it's finally done. It's available for purchase and there's only like three days left. If you're watching this video and I aim to actually edit this video on a reasonable time, three days left to pick up this bag guide at the intro introductory price. That's right, so there is a deal. It's right now, go get it. What I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna pin a comment down below. The very first comment down below will be the bag guide special deal. Okay, and after the special deal is gone, I'm gonna unpin the comment, it's gonna be gone, I'll erase the deal. So go get the bad guide right now, I've been getting some good feedback on the guide as well, and people are kinda of like, kinda of blown away with like, how much detail the bad guy goes into and a lot of the pictures that are in there. So you should definitely check it out. It's down below. Bags are a really good way to supplement your resale income, you know, it's just extra money and you're probably walking right past it. So, you know, you better learn it because if not, then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna take that money. I made the bags to bucks guide for the end user, you know, for the end user to sit there and go, you know what, I'm gonna learn this niche, 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 whatever. And I am gonna make money on this niche. But rather than go to eBay, sold and all this kind of stuff, like I'd rather you learn it from somebody that's been doing this for quite a while, which is myself. Not only do you get to win because you get another income stream, maybe a completely different thing that you weren't hustling to begin with. So that's great. And plus it supports my channel as well. So go check it out. First linked comment down below. All right, I am ready to do this hot shot. I just started up the spaceship. It does have a combustion engine, which is like very, very, very contradictory to space travel. Isn't that weird how like actual spaceships still rely on like combustion? Oh, it's so weird. It's like super inefficient. We need to learn mag drives and all that kind of stuff. Traveling with magnetic fields, like come on. No more of this combustion and fire and in a controlled space, small explosions yielding propulsion, like so stupid. We have like the greatest scientist ever on this earth and it's like we're still messing with fire. What? That guy is winning the day right there. I can't tell if I would actually like to be this or not be this. Hmm. I mean, could I do a lot? Could I do a hot shot on a little scooter? Man, I don't know. If you guys do want to see me do a hot shot maybe on my uh, neighbor's adventure bike, I would consider it. But only if I get a lot of comments on this channel. Oh, gosh. This guy almost like wiped out. 
thing sounds like an angry bumblebee. Oh my gosh, you're doing a wrong turn. What are you doing? That is not supposed to happen right there. So in my little hot shots, I always give you guys like a bazillion questions and I like to read the comments that come from them. So uh, one of the questions I'm gonna give you guys right now is what do you like the most about my channel? Like what should I continue doing? Or maybe there's something on this channel that's lacking and you wanna see it. So let me know and uh, I will consider it down below. I definitely wanna see the, all the comments though. That's so important. All right, I'm in front of the savers. This is the savers I don't find anything at, but you know, so close to everything else on the route that I have to just go here. Anyways, uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I might spend an extra minute looking a little bit harder at the saver. So we'll see if I find anything inside. It seems like there's like nothing in the savers right now. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, I think I'm gonna pop on these. They're called Magani. Um, pretty, you know, expensive shoes. But I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this when I get inside the car. All right, so I popped on these shoes. The Saver's curse has been lifted. Whew, man, I was almost about to write it off, guys. All right, so there's the bona fide find of the Saver's. Almost had to write this Saver's off. Magnani, okay? Got the, you got it, guys? So there it is, soft and supple. That was the first thing that I noticed. And um, yeah, the underside is, you know, they're worn, but not too worn out. They look good, they're very nice. I mean, they're size 12, they are my size. But I'm not gonna keep them. They're made in Spain, the leather's real nice. And, um, Decided, you know, the, the soles are between about 72, actually, you know, about 80 all the way up to about 150 bucks. So that's not too bad. You know, if I can get 80 for this pair, I would make my bona fide 50 bucks and then some. So that's pretty good. You know, road to 200 all the way. This is a perfect find for my store. My hair is so wild today. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> Any amount of moisture in the air, it's just like, this thing goes nuts. This bona fide cheddar mop over here on top of my head just will not stop. I don't know, am I gonna be at taco level profits today or not? Who knows? I'm not really hungry for tacos though, and I have a lot of food at the house, but, and I'm also on this cut, so like, when you're trying to slim down or you're definitely on a plan of some sort with physical fitness, I mean, eating out, while it's needed every week, it's also very vague on what you're eating. Like, even if you do MyFitnessPal or whatever, which counts macros and junk, like, you just never know how much oil or cheese is in something, and you can't really, you, you don't really know how many calories you're eating. So, I try to limit those as much as possible when I'm on a cut, or I'm a, when I'm on some sort of a diet to achieve something. And right now, uh, what I'm trying to achieve is uh, about a half pound to a full pound less a week until I get to a certain goal, you know, of a 9 or 10% body fat, and yeah, I think it'd be great for the workout channel, and it's just something I do every year anyway, so. But yeah, if you're interested in checking out the channel, go check it out. It's called Bod Dam, B-O-D-D-A-M-N. It's on YouTube. There's uh, about 100 workout videos up on there right now, so it's pretty cool. I'm definitely adding more as much as I can. All right, here we are at the Goodwill. Of course, I have no parking, so I'm gonna have to do the bona fide weight on the side right here. Bona fide spot coming right up. Yes, parky parkies. Okay, so let's get in here and see if I can find anything worth reselling. Sweet truck. All right, I'm in the Goodwill finding some stuff, and I'm in the bag section looking hard. McDonald's lunch kit, this was six bucks. I'm gonna put it in my booth for around 20 to 30. Okay. We have Lollapalooza Aviator Nation Edition hat. This one's really cool, uh, basically mint. This was five bucks. I'm gonna go on a limb and since this will be the only one on eBay, I'm thinking this is probably somewhere between a 40 and $50 sale. Just trust me on these Aviator Nation hats. They are tough to find. Um, this right here is a coin counter. This was $10 out the door. And this one will probably, I'm thinking, sell for around 80 to 100. I got tested at home. You know, after getting all the comments about I should cut my hair and stuff, I'm really, now, today, for, for real guys this time, I'm gonna go home. Um, I might actually go to a barber shop and uh, just tell them, you know, 
Don't cut my hair. Oh, dang, I got you guys again. I got you guys again. <laughs> Fell for it. So, no, I'm not gonna cut my hair, man. It's too awesome right now. I like it. I like it. I've never had long hair before, so it's my chance to, you know, just, just let me have it for like one second. Let me have my hair for like a second, all right? Maybe I'll cut it tomorrow, maybe. So how many of you guys out there are down with the road to 200 concept? And uh, I don't need to like re reiterate it all the time, but uh, essentially it's basically making your time worth it on eBay and selling only things that A, you absolutely care about, B, you know you're gonna sell it, and C, it's worth your time. So what do you guys think about that concept? You guys embrace it, you like it? Are you down for like the fast turn low ROI? I mean, look, both models can work. I just think one involves more work. And it's not that I'm not down to work, right? I'm just down to have diversification. I mean, that's basically it. I could do much better at my eBay business if I dedicated everything to my eBay business, but I'm not gonna do that. Because to me, that's just not smart. I wouldn't put all my money into one stock. I wouldn't do everything on FBA, for example. And that's just me. You know, I like to have many eggs and many baskets. And I see a lot of green room members doing the same thing. I see a lot of green room members that have maybe predominantly a lot of business on Amazon, but they're doing a lot of eBay flips on the side and random stuff, or at least trying to learn other things on the side. That's very, very important. We live in such an amazing world where, I mean, literally you can basically work from home. I mean, look at Amazon Merch, for example. That is a work from home business, right? You do not need to go anywhere to execute that business, but you do have to work from home. So. You know, but look at that opportunity, for example. Like, 10 years ago, opportunities that good didn't exist. And if they were, they were part of pyramid schemes and MLMs or whatever. You know, this is a true work-from-home business that has the biggest player in the online marketplace supporting it. I mean, you make a shirt, you upload it. If the shirt does well, it's exposed to billions of people. What? Think about it, that's crazy. Where on earth are you gonna get that kind of a reach for a work-from-home business? So, that's just, this is an example of the world we live in, right? So no matter what you do, just look at the opportunities around you and see what you gravitate towards. See what you really like to do, what makes you happy, and what you can do a little bit more long-term and improve on. That's really important. Because there's no real one answer to the whole thing, right? There, there's no magic equation. Everyone lives in different towns. Everyone has completely different financial circumstances. So you pick what you love and you pick what you can do the best at with the hours in a day that you can give towards the project. I mean, it's basically it. Surf's up, bro, I see some waves. I could surf that big one, I really could. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like it's gonna close out or anything, but I could take it. One thing that's for certain though, is the Italian roast coffee from Starbucks is terrible. Yes, it's the one with the Vespa scooter on the front. Do not buy this product. It is terrible. It is sucks, okay? It is sucks. We're getting close to the Goodwill Boutique. Or Boutique. I don't even know. Is it niche? Niche? I have no clue. Everyone says completely different things. Can we get a consensus? Hell no, we can't get a consensus, man. Nobody knows the answer to that. Yeah, so something else that I uh, noticed the other day. Okay, so no more coffee, ha ha ha's, but whatever. So like the other day, I was uh, looking at my eBay, like deep into my eBay seller dashboard. And so I was looking at my ASP, which is average selling price of an item. This is a really important number to know because if your ASP is really low, there's a slight chance that you might be getting way under ROI for what you're buying, right? Unless you're buying things on like pennies on the dollar or 10 cents or whatever, or you're sorting at bins, if your ASP is super low, you're probably spinning your wheels, right? That's where my philosophy comes in, right? Like take a step back, like hold out for way better goods, stop spinning your wheels and really try to make your business fun and rewarding. But anyways, my ASP the other day, as of February 2018, I looked it up yesterday because my March numbers aren't out yet, but my ASP for February is 62 bucks. That's not too bad. That's all the items that sold in February, the average selling price is 62 bucks. I wanna get it to 72 or 82. And you might be thinking that doesn't seem very hard. Trust me it's a lot harder than you think but it's also testament to the fact that if i adhere to my plan right i should be able to get to 72 and then 82 or something like that honestly and that's what's important about ebay is you know you can make the daily sales that's great and you're like oh that was great i heard a cha-ching that's cool what are you walking away with guys like what how much money are you walking away with? Take all the time you've invested into the project and you know divide your actual take home profit by those hours and start seeing what you are worth. Guys, do you know how important that is? Honestly, the numbers don't lie. You wanna know if you have a hobby or do you have a business, right? Crunch your numbers and take a look. Cause here on Bonafide's Shedder channel, we have a business, right? But that's fun. And it kind of feels like a hobby too. <laughs> all right, so we're here at the Goodwill 
Boo Boutique, it's both, right? I, I said both, so I can't be wrong. We're at the Boo Boutique and we're about to go in there. Let's see if I can find any money. I wanna find some bags today, but uh, we'll see. I can't get greedy, you know? It's only if it presents itself to me. So this is what a boutique looks like inside a Boo Boutique, sorry. All right, in the bag section, don't find anything good. So I'm passing it all up. Check this out. Hug and kiss, okay. Naked, whoa. Okay, didn't find anything there. I got about 12 minutes left on my hot shot. I better hurry up. Let's go. Plus it's getting like kind of ominous outside. The sky is turning gray. I think there's some rain coming. You know what I'm thinking. You know what the term is. Do you? Comment. So there are a couple things I was considering there. One uh, were these sunscreen containers that were actually flasks. Wow, that was actually pretty neat. Uh, they hold eight ounces of liquor a piece. Now you might be thinking that's kind of stupid, but honestly, like you know, when you go to some of these festivals or some of these things, and um, you know, just beer, like one beer is like ten bucks. You start to realize, okay, like maybe it's just no different than like maybe sneaking in candy to a theater, right? Um, but yeah, I thought about getting them, but they were seven bucks for two of them. And I was like, eh, I don't know, maybe not. So there was that. I was thinking about getting some honeymoon dice, but then again, oh man, I'm not on my honeymoon and I just don't feel like getting naked right now for you guys. But I also found a, a huge collection of vintage 1987, 1990 tops, score, uh, baseball cards that were sealed. And there was a lot of them there. Um, but then again, that market arguably might be completely eroded. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, so I'm not gonna pull the trigger on that kind of stuff unless I get it for like five bucks for everything, which that wasn't the case. So anyways, to the next Goodwill, we have like 11 minutes left. Let's get the hot shot complete. Gosh, what's wrong with this thing? I think it's broken. <sighs> my C19 of my cervical spine. Okay, so last stop is this Goodwill. Will I make it into taco level profits, even though I don't want tacos? Or do I make it into Slurpee category? We'll see. Someone on my comments said that Icy's are greater than Slurpees. So what do you think down below? Icy's or Slurpees? If I see an Icy at that 7-Eleven, I might have to go get it just to see. But I really hate like all this like super sugary stuff, so we'll see. I mean, I kind of just want to get a low calorie something. Forgot to check it. Ew. You are Amazon bound, little boombox. So I find that boombox. It's a ZX NX30 or some like ZS NX. Anyways, there's no FBA sellers on that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, lowest cut check on FBA if you are just MF is like uh, 75 bucks. So that's cool. So maybe I'll list it for like 110, 119. They'll probably check for around 80, maybe 85, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, no remote control on that boombox. I checked for the remote control thing. There's no remote control needed for that boombox. It does need a power cable. Got the power cable. Uh, anytime you find a boombox, you definitely want to test it. Anytime you find a boombox that's a little bit more current day, like that one, you want to test it with CDs. You definitely want to pull out the antenna to make sure it's not bent or crooked or anything like that. You want to try to, re you want to, try to locate the actual factory cord, really important. Uh, outside of that, it's basically some barkeeper's friend um, that you use plus uh, some water and it can get rid of all the scuffs and stuff on especially boom boxes that have like a white background like that one. So yeah, I think I made it to, I think I made it really close to taco level profits although I'm across the street from the 7-eleven and I think it's time to get something good. What am I gonna get? Oh, it's the quoi, right? They have a completely new slurpee. I have to have it. Hey you want to throw your diet in the trash? Buy this stuff. Hey, you want to throw your diet in the trash? Buy this stuff too. Yeah, baby. And I'm walking across the street. Uh, I got a Slurpee. <laughs> I'm walking across the street. I wish I could actually cuss on this channel, but I can't. You know, when you have a Slurpee in your hand, you give zero you-know-what. Word that rhymes with ducks. This is a 
strawberry basil. I was gonna say basil strawberry, but yeah, you have to go in order because that's what it said. Um, so strawberry basil, strawberry basil slurpee, dollar sixty one. That's a good reward for near taco profits. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. It's actually really good. Ah! Whoa, it's a good Slurpee. I like it. So what does it taste like? It tastes like strawberry. I don't know if I can taste the basil part. Ah, it's good. It's very important to have little reward, whether it be a Red Bull, Monster, coffee. Hell, if you want a jalapeno infused cream cheese taquito, she don't do that. That's not really good for you. But if that's what gets you going, that's great. You better burn that crap off on a treadmill afterwards, though. I can't believe people eat that kind of stuff. Ew! These things are just sitting there on rollers, greased up to the max. They're so disgusting. Ugh. Four for five bucks. Ugh. Ugh. So nasty. But there's so many on the rollers. I mean, clearly people are buying these things. People wonder why Americans are so unfit and they're so out of shape. Gosh, I've seen it all. I think someone is blasting Tejano music. Oh my gosh. So have you guys come to a consensus yet? Are Icy's better than Slurpees? I didn't see any Icy's in there. I promise you guys, when I find an Icy, it's game on. Okay, back at the Hustler Casa. Wanted to show you guys the finds a little bit closer up. So there's the McDonald's lunch tin. Pretty awesome. Here's that fast sorting coin thing. It's coin sorter. So it's fast sort. It's a fast sort coin sorter. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to test this thing out. I'm going to make sure to keep that price tag on top because if it doesn't work, I'll just return it. Um, here's the boom box that does test out. And for scuffs like this, you want to use Barkeeper's Friend plus a little bit of water plus a rag, and that'll get that off. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> snap. Jeez. Here are the shoes that I found earlier. Pretty nice. You can just tell that the leather is super, super nice on them. I'll give them a quick little clean, let them dry up, and then I'll take a picture of those. And there's that Lollapalooza hat right there. Pretty solid. Made by Aviator Nation. So if you ever see this logo anywhere, you know what's up. Guys, right, so that's basically the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to make sure to edit it right now and get it to you guys. Hit the like button. Buy the bag guide. First comment below will be the discount. After that discount's gone, the comment will be gone. Hey guys, I enjoyed the hot shot. I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye!